Okay, artists, we are going to practice drawing 3D shapes, which we call forms. Uh, we call that because let's look at the difference. This shape is flat. It is two-dimensional. It's a square. It has length, length, and it has width. A cube is a 3D square. It has form, meaning it has length, width, and depth. It has all of this space inside, which we call volume. And it has these different faces. And when we look at a cube, you can see, we can see the top and we can see these two sides. We can see the different faces of our cube. Whereas a square, we just see this one face. And that's really the big difference. So when we draw a cube, we usually end up seeing three sides of it. Let's say we're looking at our cube from this direction. So we're on pages four and five. You can use both or just one. It kind of depends on how much practicing you do today. But we're going to start with this cube. So I'm going to start by drawing a square. Always a good idea to draw lightly, especially now, artists. If you want to get a ruler to make your lines straighter, you can. Sometimes it takes longer than is necessary, but I leave that up to you. So that's a square. But if we want to turn it into this cube, there's a couple things we can do. I'll show you a few different ways. One way is to go slightly down and draw another square that's the same in front of it so they overlap. See that? And what we do is we connect each corner with a diagonal line like this. And that shows you that you have all that space, all that volume inside of your cube. And if you do it like this, you can erase these extra lines that you can't see. If we're looking at the cube, we can only see the faces. We don't actually see the lines behind it. And this would give you the shape of the cube. Now I want you to also notice on the cube See how the top is lighter because the light is hitting it. And this face is darker. It has more shadow. Even this side's a little bit darker too. So that's something you can do to show the 3D-ness of it all is add shadows. So I know that this face of my cube is darker because it's not being hit by the light. Same with this side. I'm kind of lightly making marks with my pencil and then blending them together with my finger. You can give this a try. You can always color it a different way. I want you to kind of experiment today and see what works for you. And so see, that's how I go from a square to a cube. I'll show you again really quickly that you start with a square face and then down below it, you add another square face and you connect the corners with diagonal lines and that will get you a cube. Label it if you so desire. Sometimes it's helpful. So that's how you, one way you can draw a cube. Um, the other way is you can start with the face of a cube like this you can draw three diagonal lines and then connect them with straight lines and kind of skip that. But you see it gets a little bit wonkier if you do it that way, but you can still try. And still try and add shadows to the different sides. It really starts to make it a little bit extra three-dimensional. So I want you to play around with some cubes. Draw two or three cubes. You can even add a shadow on the ground like because it would be casting a shadow on the table. That makes it extra 3D. So play around with your cube and your shadows, and we'll move on to another form in a minute. 